and we're back. And this, this is the Motorola Stream Sport. This is your true wireless earbuds with snap-on ear hooks. So here we have it, the Motorola Stream Sport. I've been looking at these earbuds and I said this is gonna be very unique for a lot of people. You got options with this earbud. What we got here is true wireless earbuds, totally wireless. So let's take out the unboxing knife. Not the most elegant unboxing experience on this one, but here we go. User's guide, you got the charging case right here, Motorola branding right there. Pretty light feeling charging case. I don't expect too many charges. You have a button, micro USB, and you have a pattern here with the Motorola emblem right there. And you have the extra ear hooks and ear tips, charging cable, micro USB to USB. And behind the box inside the packaging, we have a nice pouch. And let's get into these earbuds. Wow. Big Motorola branding right there. So you have options. You can use this just like this and rock it without any type of ear hook or you can attach the ear hook on. So here's a little clip. So it clips in and it stays on really tight. Heard that snap? So let's just take a look around the earbuds itself. Motorola branding microphone. You have these soft ear tips and you can see the speaker right there. So I expect some tremendous sound. Charging pins left and right. All right, behind here, it seems like you have your power button, volume up and down. And on this one, here's your power button with volume up and down. These earbuds, I was looking forward to, looking forward to opening them, looking forward to listening to them. But there's some issues with these earbuds. First of all, they're plastic. Everything on these earbuds is plastic. Everything is on the case is plastic. It makes it feel light, but at the same time, it makes it feel a little bit cheap. You have this flimsy, but yet kind of thick hook that goes around your ears and it does fit. It does stay in place. This hooks onto the earbud and it's not going to come off, but you're going to have to take it off if you want to charge them up in its case. So a lot of people might, ha might have a lot of complaints about that, but they're giving you options. And you know what? I love options. I try these on, they're light, they feel fairly comfortable, but they do feel cheap on your ears. Also, the payment process was pretty seamless. It took a couple of times, but it eventually connected to this earbud. Once it pairs up, it doesn't seem like it's losing much connection, but I've only used it for a little bit. So these earbuds are gonna need some extensive usage. Later. So here we go, guys. Several days later, I've been testing these earbuds, the charging case. Two charges you can get from this charging case, and that's about it. And you got and you guys can see you gotta take off the hooks in order to get these to charge up. And to a lot of people, that might be the deal breaker right there. It's not really a big deal for me because I really like the fact that I have the option to get ear hooks. And for a lot of you that like to work out and you just want these for the gym, these are definitely gonna stay on and stay in. But the seal, you're not getting that really tight seal. For some reason, these air tips just won't stay deep in my ear. So let's get into the sound test of the Motorola Stream Sport. These earbuds really got some good sound. The sound of the mids and the bass is really smooth and the highs. It's a really smooth sound, but the problem is not enough volume. So you guys listen to the sound and the volume is disappointing. And I'm sure you guys are gonna hear that from the sound test that it came across kind of low. For a lot of people, they're gonna rock this on the highest volume level. 
and you don't lose quality, but the volume is a little bit lower than I would like. Also, you don't get that seal. So even though no matter how you push these in your ear, they just don't stay in that deep, but they do stay on your ears because of the hooks that's provided. So, and using this without the ear hooks, they're gonna fall out. So you can't do anything with these without the ear hooks. But having the ear hooks as an option is definitely an A plus, but the sound is not the biggest issue on these earbuds. It's the Bluetooth connection. Once you're not using these earbuds, they just constantly pairing back and forth to the phone and to the earbuds. And with the voice prompts, you're hearing all that voice prompt connection going on over and over and over again. That's the annoying part about these earbuds. So imagine hearing that over and over again every time you pause the music to either have a conversation with someone or just to get something done. You constantly hearing it repairing back and forth to each other. And that is the biggest problem. Connected. Connected. Plus channel. Right channel. The connection issues. Motorola, man. How could you send out a product like this that once you pause the music, it's going to constantly be trying to connect back and forth to the phone? That's the problem. It's trying so hard to keep a connection that it's malfunctioning. Also, three hours max battery life, that's all you're getting with these. If you're not getting enough battery life, that means you gotta constantly do this, which is hard. You gotta constantly do this. I still haven't figured out the perfect way. And if you're a female, you're gonna break a nail on this. It is really hard to get these out. And then you gotta go through this and put them in. Now it doesn't matter which side you put it in, as long as you just put it in. And bang, you're charging. You gotta wait at least somewhere near an hour or so to get that charge. And then you gotta pull them out. And you can't wear them just like this because the fit is not good. So you're gonna be doing this again. And then you're gonna have these ready for another three hour session. Only three hours on these earbuds is a big disappointment. Call quality is not that good to even make up for any other flaws that's on these earbuds. One earbud is the brain, one earbud is the slave, the normal routine. So we don't have enough volume on these earbuds. You don't have a good Bluetooth connection at all. Call quality is really not good. And three hours of battery life is terrible. There's so many things wrong with these earbuds. This is why I cannot recommend these at all. The fit is good, the sound is okay, but there's so many other problems with these earbuds. They're annoying. And for $75, Motorola, you gotta do better. So for